Hey, yeah, you cook rice like Jimmy Oliver. Some of you probably noticed who I'm impersonating here. It's Uncle Roger. Glazing oh, no, 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 no. This is disgusting. Who put jam? Who has a really strong personal brand and making himself very memorizable. Now, even though you probably don't want to become the biggest TikTok star or YouTube star, you probably still want to maintain some level of fame and attraction from the people around you in your immediate social settings. Maybe this is in your workplace, in your family, in your classroom. You want to be recognized as a person that people look up to. This is where personal brand comes in. Every single person that I've met requires a personal brand, but they don't know yet how to get it. Well, personal brand is um, such a marketing term. Most people don't even think it's related to everyday life, but it really is. When an employer is trying to hire someone, there are a bunch of different interviewees. One of them has a strong personal brand. You have already seen that person before and recognize their personal style. Most employers would generally ignore the general criteria of hiring, but choose to hire the person that have a personal brand because that person has something memorizable planted inside the employer's head already before even him even stepping into the room to do the interview. That changes the nature of the game. What is a personal brand? Every historical person you can ever think of on the tip of your head right now has a strong personal brand. Alexander the Great is known as a childhood prodigy and he conquered the majority of Asia and Europe. That's his very strong personal brand. That's one line that people can remember him by. Genghis Khan now have around 1% of population on planet Earth being his direct descendants. Now that's his personal brand. Adolf Hitler also has his personal brand. So many important and famous historical figures strive because they created this personal brand. Whether it's scary, it's powerful, it's mysterious, it's funny, it's loving, it's friendly. Now you just have to pick and choose. Naturally, we have a great array of personality and you probably know yourself a lot better than someone else know you. By doing a few personality tests, like the Big Five Personality Quadrant or the 16 Personality Type, I understand yourself a little bit better and realize what are my special qualities. Note them down on a piece of paper and think hard how can you create a strong personal brand based on these few personal special qualities. Now everyone's a little bit different. Personally, for example, I was a very average kid growing up. I always gravitate towards roles that requires hosting games. When I was in elementary school, I was the one that's hosting games for fun for a lot of my classmates. And that's something I really enjoy doing naturally without getting paid, without any real rewards. But I stick to doing that. And now when I grow older, when I analyze my personality, I realize that's a strong suit of mine. I like to talking and communicating with people and making sure they're having a good time and connecting people in social ways. So that slowly has become my personal brand. And people recognize TJ Ho as someone that's positive and someone that connects people to each other. By mentioning my name to people that know me, it brings them a sense of joy, a sense of connection. That's my personal brand right now. Obviously, the personal brand can evolve over time to change to something entirely different as you grow older. Once you have figured out what kind of brand you want to go for, you can surround yourself by elements of this brand. For example, change your social media presence. Every time you post something on social media or every time you showcase a piece of yourself to your friends, consider will this add on to my personal brand or is it not in line with my personal brand? Give you an example. In my personal opinion, like my personal brand includes physical fitness. This is something very important to me. But before, on my social media, I tend to post a lot of like, videos of me eating out. Sometimes these happen to be very unhealthy food. I don't eat them often, but just because I was in a social setting, I took the video, my as well just post it. But now, I re thought about this. I want to relate my personal brand towards physical fitness. Eating nutritional food is quite important for me. Then there's no need for me to share the message, either intentionally or unintentionally, about unhealthy food, no matter how cool they look on screen. By eliminating stuff that doesn't add to your personal brand, you're maintaining a more functional brand of yourself once you establish it. Because now, that's a digital avatar of who you are. When you meet people, people will recognize you as that person that brought them that piece of sensation when they watch your content or when they indulge in your thought patterns. For example, my grandpa, he's now in his late 70s. He's not too physically attractive at the moment, although he probably was when he was younger. His physical self has declined. Let's be real, he doesn't have two decades to live. His physical life will end soon. But his presence, the charisma, the ideology he represents 
live on because he's a really charming person and he talks to everyone in his neighborhood. He's super friendly. He almost can name every person, which is around 200 people in his immediate neighborhood. And he have a small talk, sometimes even deep talk with them just on the street when encountering these people. That's something very really special that he has that no one else does. And people recognize his personal brand as that fu funny, loving, caring person that always take a moment of his life to engage with others socially. That's a perfect example of how having a good personal brand is useful no matter what you do. Start building a personal brand today and I promise you, this will benefit you so much more. If you found values in that video, so will others like you. Comment, like, and subscribe for more adventures and deep talk with me.